Well, I'm here with a man that spent a decade in the NFL, Jabari Greer, but before he did that, uh, he was roaming the streets here in Knoxville and starring on the field there at Neyland Stadium. Welcome back to Knoxville. Glad to be here. It's Definitely. been a while. It's been a while since I've been here. Ten years, I believe. Uh, it looks the same? It, it does. A little different. They have a little more, uh, there's a Walmart up the street that they didn't have on campus when I was here, but, you know, it's it's pretty much the same. It's grown a little bit. All right, so Jabari Greer, welcome back here to Knoxville. Uh, th this is a bizarre turn of events here in the NFL. Two players losing fingers over a fireworks incident. And C.J. Will. so I guess I can also call you a colleague then because right. you work for us on game day. When you told your folks that this was the path you wanted to take when basketball was finished, what was the response? Huge support. I have a great family. There is a huge following in this state and in this part of the country for the Lady Vols basketball team, which you know as playing for them. How did that help you parlay that into a job where you're performing in front of other people. Oh, definitely. If I was here earlier this morning, share with us a story from your days playing for Pat. Also going to be the DJ, the in-arena host for the Atlanta Dream. Being someone that won two national titles, are you ever DJing and thinking, well, maybe I should get out there? Oh, and we'll let Matt play with Jabari. I'm down, though, so you're going to have to be the one that pulls this team out of the this. hole. Team. All right, this is my new teammate, Baby Mac. She's a performer. You can see her on College Game Day. She's a DJ. She's just about everything. Oh, and by the way, she's a two-time national champ hanging out with us here in Knoxville. Matt? Well, Kevin, to baseball now. And Zach Greinke, he's a quiet guy. He doesn't say a whole lot to reporters. He's not generally the one to speak up in team meetings. But his pitching, that's plenty loud. And this season, it's deafening. Greinke hasn't allowed a run in 35 and two-thirds innings, the longest scoreless streak in the majors this season. Last night, he turned in a fifth straight scoreless start. As promised, Carlos Martinez gives the Cardinals a, a big win over the Pirates. And when you're looking at just the impressive performances that he has turned in this season, what has made him so impressive? His ability to improve. You know, he really has gotten to the point now where He's one of those ace caliber pitches. And, and the fact is, it's all about working fastball slider, that combination that he does. I'm sensing a theme this morning, Kevin. It's dominant pitching. Felix Hernandez started last year's All-Star game for the American League, and he very well could get the nod this year as well. For the third straight season, he has notched 10 wins before the Midsummer Classic. Last night, he was going for number 11 on the season against the Angels and making his case once again to be the AL 